Good morning, YouTube. Today is December 29th, maybe? Saturday? 29th. Yeah, Saturday 29th, 2018. Almost the new year. I am headed to work. You can see the cat in the background. Look at the cat. The cat has meowed all morning. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Now it wants back in. Murph. Beautiful pup. That dog can do no wrong. Anyway, so I'm going to let the cat in before I leave. It is about almost 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 7.40. I will be heading off to work to go to my part-time job. and putting in work, putting in hours. Trying to get on that millionaire status. Anyway, there will be a woodworking project, but I think I'm going to roll this all into one vlog. So I'm going to vlog, and then I'm going to do my woodwork project. I bought something at Home Depot. Oh, my God, not a good idea. I know. Actually, it was Lowe's. It was at Home Depot. Anyway, so let's get the video started and my day started. I will see you in the next clip. And we're back. So today's project is going to involve this piece of lumber over here that I picked up from the Home Depot. Home Depot. It's a pretty, pretty big piece of wood. I'm going to cut this down. And what I want to make today is a, I want to make like a club. Kind of, sort of, maybe, maybe a club. Uh, thought about it a little bit more, and I was like, you know what, I want to kind of go with like a German stick grenade. It's probably gonna be about yay high. So it's not gonna be an exact replica of a German stick grenade. I don't want to hear all of you, oh, that's not historically accurate. But if you've ever seen a German stick grenade or know what I'm talking about, uh, you, know, it's a, you know, typical American grenade, just a ball, you throw it, it explodes. Theirs, during the Second World War, had a handle and a uh, head on it that blew up after you pulled the cord. So it's going to be like in that kind of a shape, not exactly. I just kind of want to get it into that shape. But that's what we're going to build today. So I'm going to saw this down to about right here. This will probably be uh, the biggest project uh, that I've undertaken. And it's a simple design. It's just basically two cylinders on top of each other. And like I've said, that's basically what I'm trying to do is just get the handle on all the tools and getting used to turning wood. So we're not making anything fancy. It's not going to be too intricate. I might add some stuff to it depending on how it goes. Uh, so we're going to do that. I'll cut that. And I got my beer ready. Mm, yeah. So in case you forgot, today is Saturday 20. It's Saturday, December 29, 2018. So this is going to be my little project. So we'll see how it goes. I won't bore you with uh, me cutting the wood. And then once I get it loaded on the lathe, we'll get started, okay? All right, finally got that set up. Had to set up the tripod a little bit differently because the table is shaking and the camera's gonna wobble the whole time. So got the piece of wood hooked up to the lathe. It's turning. It's about 18 inches long. So we're gonna see what we can do with it. This is the biggest piece that I've ever worked with. So we'll get it started, have some beer, Sorry, Tinsley, I know you didn't want me to do that, but life happens. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so we're off to a very rough start, as you can see. So my banjo, uh, the chisel rest is not as long as I would like it. So I'm gonna try to make the handle from about here all the way down to here. This, this head will be the club portion of it. So I think what I've learned is just do one section right now and then we'll come back to it. So I think we're just gonna work our way up the lathe and then we'll stop here. I'm actually gonna I'm just gonna mark it, so I'm pretty sure I won't be able to see this part, but fuck it. I'm, I almost fucking killed myself, as you could see there. Super shitty. All right, so we're, we'll we'll try that again.
Okay, so you can kind of see we've made some pretty good progress here. So we're gonna keep doing this side and it's like right at the cusp where my banjo is. Uh, so we're gonna just do a little bit more. We're just gonna get the handle portion really just down and then we'll, we'll just slowly drive that off, okay? So let's get that started. Kind of see here where we have the handle it's starting to separate from the uh, the head of our German grenade stick so it's looking pretty good we just need to wilt this down a little bit more it's looking really really good so far I'm really happy with the progress we've made so uh, gonna start working on it a little bit more I think I'm just gonna pause the video for right now I think you guys kind of see where I'm going with this I uh, might record it. Uh, we'll record it, see what happens. Anyway, so let's uh, finish up this handle and then kind of go from there. Pretty good handle. I'm happy with where this is at. So we're gonna whittle. We're gonna turn this down, and then we'll have the handle. And then uh, I don't think I'm gonna record this part for sure because you've already seen what I'm trying to do here. So before and after. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay. So we got the handle worked out pretty good. It's a good grip on there. So now we're gonna work on the head. So. Hopefully this goes a little bit smoother. I was having some problems with the banjo moving when I was lathing. So hopefully this stays pretty sturdy and you know, it'll look like what I want it to do. So we're just gonna basically make it an oblong kind of cylinder that's gonna attach here. So hopefully it all works out. So let's get started.
so you can see that we are done with the head of the grenade slash stick slash club. So I'm gonna put some hand grips here and then we should be done and then we're gonna sand it. So here we go. So we are almost done with this project. As you can see, the head of it is good. It's nice and round. It's got that stick grenade figure thing I was going for, but it's probably more of a club than it is a grenade, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna fucking hear it. Uh, put some grooves into the handle here for just a little bit of grip. So we're gonna go ahead and just sand this down, and then, and then I think we'll be done. But there's one last surprise after we sand it. So we'll do the sanding, and then we'll go from there. So the last thing we're going to do, we've sanded it down, it's smooth as a baby's bottom, so now I'm going to wood stain it. I've never done this before. I've seen some other videos where they put some other uh, like wood wax, they put some varnish on it. Uh, this is all Walmart's got, so I'm not a pro yet as you can see. So we're just going to use this and see what kind of cool staining we get out of it. And then once it dries, I'll show you the final project and we'll be done. Something like this to this. 
so you can see the big difference there. I don't know what the hell is with these logs, but they're exploding. It's like freaking 4th of July back here. I don't know. Anyway, we're off topic. So, pretty good. Not bad. We went from this to this. So, pretty good. It's, you can see the hand grooves that I put into it. Pretty awesome. So, that's a good, pretty good grip. And it's got some girth to it. So, if you just really want to knock somebody in the dome with it, you totally could. So not bad, I know it's very, you know, basic type of lathe, you know, skills, but, you know, I learned a lot from, you know, using the tools and a little bit bigger piece of wood. And looking back when I was editing the video, because I've been waiting for this uh, varnish or stain to, to set and dry, I, you can leave so many comments and jokes concerning some of the things I said about wood and head and all kinds of other stuff. So feel free to leave comments that are highly inappropriate. But pretty good, not bad. Really happy with how this turned out. Like I said, we went from this to this, so I'm happy with it. So I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, by the way, Alabama is beating the hell out of Oklahoma. So hopefully, hopefully somebody in the Big 12 can one day win a national championship, as long as it's not Texas. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.